the fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins, go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the mad cheese as always. Got a gameplay slash run play video for you guys, a run scheme that I've been using for a very long time. Probably going back at least two Maddens, maybe to Madden uh, 18, maybe as far back, you know, way back when. So if you guys remember the first time I put this out, or if you guys remember seeing me use this scheme, uh, let me know in the comment section how long you've been watching. Uh, other than that, I mean, this is, I'm using an alternate playbook, and I asked you guys in a video not too long ago if you wanted to see more alternate playbook offenses. Let me know in the comment section with the like button, so I'm going to say that one more time. The playbook I'm using today is the pistol playbook, uh, which is something that I, I chose this playbook because there's really two different pistol formations that I think are really overpowered and you're going to see them both in this gameplay uh, but without a doubt to me I mean the real reason I picked it was the new run scheme I'm going to show you guys so before we get into the video as always if you guys want to get your mutt team up like mine do me a favor check out my coin sponsor at moxp.com link in the description below and use discount code money shot to get five percent off and like I was saying I'm in the pistol playbook you can see there's only pistol plays in this there's not another formation in this particular playbook which is kind of weird I'm still trying to lab it the formation that I picked this playbook for today though is the weak eye the pistol weak eye this formation like i said i've used this going back a couple different maddens one of the most important things i typically like to put a tight end that can block and run at the fullback spot because he is going to be important although i did get a second running back recently to try to make this offense a little bit more crazy then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put lamar jackson at quarterback rich gans gonna be my quarterback in every passing situation but in this situation which is pretty much as a running situation it's going to be lamar jackson pretty much maxed out there's really two plays that i use in this formation the most really three i would say would be the y corner at the top there would be the third but the triple option is pretty Pretty much the first play out the gate pretty much every time so it's a really simple read if your opponent uh pinches anything they pinch the defense line they pinch the defense you can typically go to the right uh but in this scenario there's a, a cover three safety in the box so i don't want to do that there's no safety on the other side so i'm going to go to the left it's really that simple pre-snap read pretty much gives the whole play away you can treat the pitch as an emergency option I mean, if you can run with the quarterback do that you know what i mean a lot of times you can take off with the quarterback and get some big gains uh but if you want to hand it off to the tight end going the opposite way it's also a good option you just have to hold the a button to do that one of the easiest plays to run in this formation and it might be the best one is the halfback zone weak as far as reads go there's not much of a hole here but i'm going to run it anyway you don't really have to make reads when it comes to this play you just want to look for gaps and sure enough there's not a huge gap here but you can see it doesn't matter as we rip off 12 so that play might be the most overpowered one in the formation the other offense that i wanted to run and was the reason that i picked the pistol playbook is the strong power out of the pistol bunch te i already put out this offense not too long ago i'll put a link in the description for that uh, it also has the cross drag which is one of the better and harder to stop pass plays so it's pretty much the reason that i chose this offense is these series of plays uh on the next play i mean i'm pretty much just going to hit him with that cross drag nothing's really open here i take off with rich gannon i mean there was some openings i just didn't really trust it so on the next play i go right back to it uh do a little bit of an extra adjustment by putting the running back out in the flat and like i said all these crossers something's always going to get open that's one of the things that makes it so hard to stop and then like i said the power o is a really good run play this next play probably would have had a lot more but i have my backup running back in there run bitch like I said, I just picked up Adrian Peterson as my backup running back, so hopefully I won't have any more issues like that. So I run the strong power one more time, and he gets the stop. Nope. So like I said, I mean, I came here to run this formation. I came here to run these plays, and I'm going to hit him with that fullback inside. I mean, he even ran commit there, and it didn't matter. Still got the first down. Then he stops pinching the defense, which this is a real easy read. Once they stop pinching the defense, you just go right to the zone weak play. It's really that simple. You don't have to make too many difficult reads. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's not that difficult at all. In the next play, he does not pinch, and I make the wrong read for whatever reason i decided to go with the triple option play when i should have went with the zone weak play and you're going to see how it basically shuts it down if i follow the reads it would have been an easy first down here i still get that flip out like i said you'll get some crazy flip animations when you run this uh series but like i said it's real simple right here he doesn't pinch we take the uh, zone weak and it's an easy walk-in touchdown from about 20 out so it's you know like i said it's that simple it's a really simple read are they pinched or are they spread it's really that simple. Your opponent has to choose one of the two, and you just basically do the opposite of what they choose. So on the defensive side here, my opponent's going to have a little bit of success moving the ball here, but look at how much time I took off the clock. When he got the ball back, it was halfway through the second quarter. That means that I had the ball, ball control offense, pretty much the entire uh, game so far. He's already at the two-minute warning, and he's only ran like two plays, which is just goes to show how hard of a time and how much ball control that you can create with this offensive scheme that I'm trying to trying to sell you guys on. Like I said, this scheme I've been running for years. I love this scheme. 
As this guy's getting some pretty ridiculous catch animations, by the way. So I've been pretty much running the cover four drop defense uh, this entire game. It's, I've been something I've pretty much been running, you know, the entire weekend league, to be honest with you. But if I want a turnover, I typically go with the cover three cloud. This is the most turnover heavy defense in the game. I hear some people still complaining that this defense doesn't work for them. First play, I mean, I do get ripped off. It's not really a good run defense. But when it comes to pass plays, this is where this play is going to shine. So second and two with uh, under a minute to go. He's going to try to pass. And as advertised, gotcha, bitch. We're going to get an interception. I thought about trying to stop and take a knee, but the momentum carried me out, and I'm glad it did because I'm taking it to the house. He could go all the way. 95 yards. I'm swagging, I'm swagging, I'm swagging away. Uh-oh, we're having some connection issues. Let's check out what's happening on his end. So next game, uh, we're pretty much going to uh, run the exact same offense. I forgot to put Lamar Jackson in at quarterback. So on the very first play, I go to keep it with Rich Gannon. And as you can see, he's not quite the athlete that uh, Lamar Jackson is. What the hell was that? first thing we do is put Lamar Jackson uh, into the game. On the next play, I'm going to hand it off to the tight end. I like having a running back there, but it does help when you run the other play to have a good blocker. So on the next play, I'm going to motion this guy over. I'm going to basically try to set up a one-play touchdown, but he's going to make it pretty easy for me. He's going to he's going to run commit on the third play of the game. Break yourself, fool! That's how much he had problems stopping the first two plays. He basically just decided to give me a touchdown rather than try to stop that play. If you guys want to see some more pass plays out of this uh, particular formation, let me know in the comment section hit the like button because I do plan on doing a practice mode version uh, with some pass plays uh, later on in the week. So hit the like button if you guys want to see that. On the defensive side, uh, my defense wasn't necessarily on point in this game. As you can see, he's having a, a pretty good time dobbing me up. But like I said, I mean, I'm banging these receivers around. I don't know why I'm not getting any knockout animations. Then on the next play, I mean, I played too shallow here. I really didn't expect that route to go right up the middle of my defense, but he's rolling. He's going right down the field on me. We get him to a third and eight, holding him, you know, to uh, this is the situation we want to be in. Sure enough, though, we probably should send a little bit more pressure as the two guys we got going aren't doing nothing. He rolls out, and I mean, there's nothing open here. He throws the last second, and what universe is this a what? touchdown in? If you watch the replay here, he was clearly out of bounds. Not one foot landed in bounds, but somehow he got the touchdown. So back to the offensive series. Uh, like I said, this play here, this might be the best run. The the inside uh, or the halfback weak. I mean, it's just such a money run. He's pinching that defense, but it's not going to matter. Like I said, I mean, both sides. We have outside linebacker on both sides. But since he's blitzing off the backside, I just basically hand it off Psych! to the tight end. I mean, it's really that simple. You know, I mean, there's so it's so easy. I could run this with a blindfold on. On the next play, he's coming off the backside again. We're just going to go right back to that tight end. It's really that easy. Because you can go any number of ways. Your opponent's never really going to see it coming. On the next play, we plan on hitting this Y route. Sure enough, he's sending the house so i'm just gonna hit this uh c route coming out of the backfield nobody really expects that i mean that's such a a rare route in this game and you can see he was engaging the entire defense he's sending engage eights now he's already been run committing that's how hard it is to stop this formation as we rip off another big run so we get inside the five on the next play like i said the triple option i love the optionality the fact that you can go multiple ways so i typically try to run this play the most and he run commits again but we get the ball out at the last second and we get the touchdown. I know that had to make him mad. On the defensive side, I've been experimenting a little bit with the defense where I basically just send the house and, you know, try to play coverage. But on this play, <laughs> half the blitzers fall over, which is basically going to make it impossible for that play to work out. So sure enough, he buys enough time to uh, hit me with a touchdown strike, uh, which is total BS. So the second offensive series, once again, we're just going to keep going back to that cross track. Like I said, I picked this playbook for these two offenses. Uh, and on the first play, not really working out. I got to basically throw it away but he was running a cover three. The second we get back to the huddle i see that he's in a cover three so i'm gonna go ahead i got a cover three beater out of this out of the spot option so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna dial that up the setup's pretty simple i'll put a link in the description if you guys want to uh, watch a full breakdown on how to do this but the, really the only important part is putting the x route on a streak because that's pretty much going to be the home run i don't really have to do anything else but this is the full setup here break yourself fool EA's been doing this to me a lot lately where I just don't put my hands up to catch the ball. So whatever. Next play, we're going to go with that cross drag play one more time. Uh, we pretty much set it up and we're going straight for this uh, crossing route. So we streak uh, the running back to try to create as much separation against that cover three as possible. And it's there. But for whatever reason, he doesn't catch it either. So... Oh, come on! 
Come on. So I'm hearing a lot of people talking about DDA these days, and I'm feeling it right now as I'm just getting uh, screwed on two back-to-back -back plays, although it looks like it kind of goes my way as he doesn't catch that ball. But my coverage is tight. My coverage is all over him, so I don't really think he should have. So on the next play, uh, he just hits me with a, a slant, so, you know, he gets the first down on third and ten. Like I said, for the most part, his offense, this is a pretty uh, tough game going back and forth. My disappointment's going to give me uh, give me some trouble. On the next play, he's hitting a deep crosser, and like I said, his dude catches it right out the boundary like my guy should have. And now he's just pretty much working with me with crossers on the next play I'm just a little bit late on that crosser and he throws it right in between uh, about five defenders uh, standing around with their hands in their pockets now he's beat me in the flats I mean we all know that play uh, you know that's everybody's favorite play and then on the next play I mean we have everything dropping back we got everything locked up uh, but sure enough his tight end comes out and check and release and somehow he gets into the end zone so he takes a touchdown lead and he gets ball after half so we got to make something happen here I mean we got to get a turnover or you know get a sack or something we got to take this guy out of his rhythm because he's just uh, picking me apart so we're sending the house on this next play out of a cover four quarters gotcha, and sure enough he tries to throw it up and we get an interception on the very first play so like i said that is something i'm messing with quite a bit and i'm having a lot of success with it uh hopefully i'll perfect it and i'll bring it to you guys in a future video uh other than that, on the offensive side like i said we're gonna go right back to these uh run plays which ultimately i mean i think that my biggest issue is where i got away from running the ball a little bit too much at the end of the first half so we're gonna keep with it like i said halfback zone we play this play's obviously money i thought we had a touchdown here but that guy came out of nowhere then on the next play i mean i gotta be honest i was expecting him to run commit it looked like he was lining up for it so i switch over to a passing play i'm expecting that run commit and i really outthought myself because i threw an interception right over the middle when i should just kept running the damn ball so that interception that i got went for nothing on the defensive side we're gonna go right back to that cover four quarters though as it's doing a pretty good job of stopping and running like i said it's getting pressure where my guys don't fall all over themselves on second and ten like i said we're setting up that blitz one more time Oh, getting he right off the edge. He's got to get rid of that ball. Like I said, that is a good play. But my opponent adapts to him the very next play and just threads the needle underneath uh, to the tight end. We almost got that interception. He was right on top of that. So we're going to get out of that, though, because, like I said, this is not something you can run the entire game. And now he's starting to pick this apart, too, with quick throws. We try to switch it up with a all-out man coverage, a man-zero blitz, and that just gets burnt even worse by the tight end. So we're going to go ahead. We're just going to end that. And he's already in scoring range. I need a turnover. If there's a play in my arsenal that I think is guaranteed turnovers, my most turnover heavy defense, it's without a doubt the cover three cloud. Link in the description below if you guys want to see how to set this up. I'm not really going to go over that. But like I said, this is my most turnover heavy defense in the game. And sure enough, on the very next play, uh, maybe we get a little bit lucky here as we get the hit stick. And we come up with the interception coming the other way. Would have been nice to take it all the way back to the house, but we'll take what we can get. So we're back in business. Going to try to run the ball a little bit here. Uh, as you can see, now we got Evan Ingram. We tried to put a little bit more speed at that tight end spot, but I still didn't stretch it out, which obviously there's more run room. If I'm stretching this play out, I probably have more run room. On the next play, fourth and four. We're just going to hit him with those cross drag uh, play one more time. This time we got the running back uh, out on a slant. So pretty much we have guys all over the field. One of them is going to get open. As you can see right here, Sean Alexander comes open right over the middle. You can't cover all those crossers. So he's still in that cover three. Like I said earlier, I tried to hit him with this one play touchdown, the spot option, but it did not work out. So we're going go we're going to try that again i get the setup in exactly as i want i motion across the slot receiver you just need to motion somebody across to move the safety across that's all it really is the free safety over the middle of the field and sure enough the setup works perfectly the b route does get open but i just don't trust it i don't pull the trigger i hesitate so i roll out and i see the y route standing wide open Over here. and sure enough we get a touchdown on the second read so we're back in this game 21 all I'm back in my cover three cloud defense on the other side. I'm sending a little bit of heat. I'm sending four guys. I don't typically send that many guys. And sure enough, we get a sack. So we don't have to send a lot of pressure, but anything more than two, we're going to get some pressure on the quarterback. Then on second and 24, he's not in a good spot. He's got to be feeling it now. As I think he was trying to glitch this coverage out, but sure enough, gotcha, we get the tip. We get the interception. He could go all the way. So we're in the lead. And all it took was switching to this defense. So next play, exact same defense. He's throwing back-to-back -back interceptions. Uh, and I guess that wasn't enough for him. Gotcha, he's going to do it one more time. He tries to beat up the cover three scene. Only that's not a cover three. That's a cover three cloud. So we're going to end the game on that. Three straight interceptions on three straight drives after the dude was working me the entire game. That defense is so key. So we're going to go and end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Munch it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team. We can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below